Hello my good fellows and welcome to this video concerning the charging lithium battery CCCV protocol. The principle of this video is to explain in less than 5 minutes a physics or techniques concept. Enjoy! First let's begin with some reminder of definition. What is an accumulator or rechargeable cell? It's an object stocking potential energy in an electrochemical form during a charging process and which has the possibility to give it back in the form of electrical energy during what we call a discharge process. A battery. A battery is simply an assembly of accumulators in series and or in parallel. I will explain later in a video the rules of assembling. CCCV, this acronym stands for Constant Current, Constant Voltage Charging Protocol. It is used for lithium battery and it is the art of this topic. The low voltage protection, it is the minimum voltage allowed for a battery and which determines the threshold of an empty battery. It is not recommended to go below as it is critical for the lifetime of a battery. Classical AVP for lithium ion battery is 3 volts. The high voltage potential is the maximum voltage allowed for the battery and that determines the transition between the constant current and constant voltage phase. It is not recommended to go above this value because it is critical for the lifetime of a battery. Classical EGP is generally around 4.2 volts for lithium iron battery. The capacity of a battery is a concept representing a quantity of electrons that can be stored into the accumulator. You can see it like the quantity of water that can be stored into your bath. The energy, we could say the potential energy contained into the accumulator. This value is extremely important when you need to estimate the runtime of your application. To explain the CCCV charging process, I will use this animation. On your left, you have an electronic circuit made of a power supply generator directly connected to a cell. This power supply can be set as a constant current source or a constant voltage source. The cell is white, which means it is empty. When we, we will show fully charge the battery, it will be blue. On your right, you have a graphic. This graphic shows you on the left the voltage of a battery versus time, on the right the current getting into the battery versus time. The voltage will be in black, the current will be in red. Let's start the simulation. Because the cell is empty at the beginning, we start at 3 volt. We can see here that the voltage is increasing slowly from 3 volt to 4.2 volt. And the current is logically a straight line because we are in the constant current step. I use here a constant current of C over 5, which means that, for example, with a battery of 1000 milliamps hour, I use a, of current, a current of 200 milliamps. Now we get into the second step. We are forced to get in the step of constant voltage because we reach the, vo uh, the high voltage protection value. During the constant voltage step, we, use, we apply, thanks to the power, uh, power supply generator, a voltage stabilized of 4.2 volts. And we can see that during that, we, dec we are decreasing slowly and slowly the current. Now the cell is fully charged, but how and when can I say it is? It is when during the constant voltage step, you reach a certain value of current. For example, here I use 3%, but I could have used 10%. You have to know that the lower value you use, the longer time it will take you to reach this value, and just for a little amount of capacity win, so you will have to make a compromise. Let's now study more of this graphic. From this graphic we can have two information, the capacity and the energy for charging the battery. The capacity is simply the quantity of electrons that has been put into the battery. So from this formula it represents the surface here the area of the surface here below the red curve and the energy of the charging process here it's simply here this formula you can see the current and the voltage and the current multiplied by voltage is a power and power multiplied by time is an energy thank you for your attention folks see you next time